Yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, welcome back, Bill motherfucking Cosby. It's a good damn thing I ain't got to get this built out for real because I will be totally broke as many times as I claim to get this shit out. Bill motherfucking Cosby is back home. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, and share. So, I'm sure you guys have heard this great news, okay? Bill Cosby has been acquitted on a technicality. Now, look here. I know a lot of you ladies are upset, and I know a lot of you simps, okay? A lot of you brainless, malleable mongoloids out there are upset just because the women are upset. Or because you guys, instead of going to a library and reading... Okay, you're probably out at the club or, you know, out at happy hour. Okay, grab a book, fellas. Trust me, brothers. It'll help out. Here's the deal. Here's why I'm so happy about Bill Cosby's case. Here's the reason. First, I want to give you guys the reason why I'm happy that Bill is out. Okay, Bill is a trailblazer for the black community. Okay, he's donated money. He's educated kids. He gave us that guy. Um, He gave us the Cosby kids. He gave us the banana superhero man, the, the black guy back in the day, okay? Bill Cosby has done more for this community in the times where black men were really limited to try and do for us, okay? Regardless of the funds, you know? And it really had irritated me. It really had hurt me to see that they came from years on back, okay, to lock up this, this, this elderly man. Seriously, versus the years it went on. And it really irritated me again when I noticed that in the black community, we were sitting around and we was hollering about free Meek Mills and uh, what's this other guy name? Um, Meek Mills and Kodak Black. Negroes that was dumb. Negroes that wasn't doing nothing for the community. Hell, they were beating up and doing dumb stuff to women all over, but y'all was protesting for them and R. Kelly? So just, just fuck Bill Cosby, right? I'm going to tell you guys again, like this or dislike it. Those are some of the reasons why I cannot take the black community serious, okay? Timothy Apollo, <laughs> you know? So here's the deal with Bill Cosby. I don't even know where to start, but I'm going to give you guys the three main reasons why, okay? This trailblazer of our community shouldn't have been locked up in the first place. You know, this was a, a, a miscarriage of justice. It, it just was, okay? Number one, and I had to write some of these down so I could remember them because I didn't want to lose track because these three facts that I'm about to give you guys, you, you can't, they're undeniable. Seriously. First of all, let's talk about the statute of limitation, okay? The statute of limitation states that, hey, you have to file these proceedings within a certain amount of time. After the crime, you have a certain amount that has not changed, you know, but due to the fact of public op opinion and the Me Too movement, oh, we're going to talk about the Me Too movement, that was all overlooked. The statute of limitation is still, it's there. It's there for a reason, okay? If somebody mishandles you, you know, if somebody mishandles you or causes an issue, a legal issue to you, then you should want to jump on that as soon as possible. But if you don't, there's an allotted time that the law gives you to file these proceedings. And it damn sure ain't no 25, 30, 40 damn years, people. Come on now. Seriously, after so much allotted time, you have got to realize that there's something more going on, that there's somewhat of an agenda going on somewhere. You know, seriously. So... You pilfer and plunder me in 1998, and here I am in 2020 talking about what happened to me. Get, get, get the hell out of here. Seriously, you had an abundance of time to file a suit, okay? The statute of limitation is there regardless. Now, I want to explain something to you guys about this situation with Bill Cosby in particular. They didn't even have a hearing about the statute of limitation. They just went straight to trial. And the reason they did that, in my opinion, not only for um, public opinion, okay, because everybody wanted to be so, you know, equality and all this and that, but the Me Too movement forced their hands, okay? Everybody was so 
out to appease women. Everybody out was so out to seem politically correct when at the same time they were being non-legit. You know, they didn't handle this stuff the right way. And then from 20 years ago, from 25, 30 years ago, what in the hell evidence do you have to lock this man up in the first place? You don't have DNA. You don't have semen. Seriously, you have nothing. Bill Cosby himself said, no, I did not do this. Okay, so that's the first thing. The statute of limitation had already passed. Plus, they didn't even have a hearing about it. They just went straight to trial. Okay, so let me explain the second issue here. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. <laughs> The, Mont the, the Montgomery County District Prosecutor, okay? When they entered into an agreement to not prosecute Bill, they already entered into an agreement to not prosecute Bill. Bill did a depot, okay? Saying, hey, look, you know, you know, I go through some counseling or whatever else, yada, yada, yada. But, I'm not pleading guilty. Sort of like Charlemagne the God did, you know? <laughs> but here's what I want you guys to realize right here. That that was a binding agreement from the Montgomery County District Attorney. Okay? Once that binding agreement has been set, it's binding. <laughs> okay? Henceforth, binding agreement. But here's what you guys don't know, okay? The trial judge and the district attorney, which is the person who um, ended that binding agreement with Bill Cosby, not the trial judge, but the district attorney, they were political rivals, seriously. So the trial judge said, hey, the district attorney, no, nah, we ain't gonna follow that. We ain't worried about whatever uh, binding agreement the district, the DA, the district attorney had already made with Bill. He said, no, nah, don't worry about that. Okay? To me, that sounds like a conflict of interest. To me, that sounds like it was more personal gain because they were already political rivals. Now, here's the thing you guys have got to realize that if he finds... If the trial judge finds the district attorney not credible, then what proof does he have to go off of 20, 30 years later? Hmm. You know, the trial judge shouldn't have been the trial judge in the first place. Because, again, you have a conflict of interest. Now, you know, I don't know exactly the legality of that, but... They were political rivals. So it, it could have been some personal issues there as well. Only thing I know is Bill Cosby was caught up in the middle of that. Because again, realize, they did not, they did not, they did not, I reiterate, they did not even have a hearing for this. Seriously, they, they didn't. There was no hearing about the statute of limitation. Seriously, there were so many technicalities in this to where Bill shouldn't have did a damn day in jail. <laughs> Seriously, he shouldn't. Have. But okay, let's 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 just move past that. Okay. Now, here's another thing that kind of killed me about this issue. There was one woman that filed against Bill, saying that hey, this and that happened. But they introduced five other women into the case who made accusations. They hadn't been to trial or nothing else. Okay? That's insubmittable evidence. If you even want to call them evidence. Because that's, that's, that's hearsay. That's just them bringing in people. Realize this, people, okay? And let me break this down for those of you who can't count to 10, for those of you who have your pants wrapped around your ankles, okay? In court, when one attorney has evidence, they have to submit it to the other attorney, okay? Believe it or not, both attorneys have to um, 
put out all information to be reevaluated by each other. That's just the way it is. I guess so won't nobody be caught off guard, which it, it, you can say it's fair and you can say it's unfair. They didn't do that with these ladies. These ladies just, you know, it was like jack in the box. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody started popping up when they heard bills in court. Okay, so let me bring this last and final issue and put it out on the table. Let's talk about the Me Too movement, or as I like to call it, the Him Too movement. <laughs> okay, because it's funny, you know, Cardi B ain't been brought in yet. By the Me Too movement, the Him Too movement, and that's fine. That's fine. I want to explain this to you guys right now, okay? For you guys and gals out there, let's get one thing clear: the Me Too movement, okay, is not a legal proceeding. It is not. I don't care how many assholes and how many funnelers the Me Too movement brought in. KRS One right here. I mean, this lady right here, and I don't know her name and personally don't care because I refuse to believe that she started this because somebody touched her. I mean, look, look, seriously, look at Jesus her. Jesus Christ! You know, anybody, anybody can touch her. But anyway, um, KRS One right here, who started the Me Too movement, did not go through the proper channels to actually try to make it a versatile law. Okay, better yet, let me break this down to you. It's just not a law, okay? It's a movement. The KKK is a movement. Yeah, the, the, the Ku Klux Klan is a movement, okay? Whether you like it or not. The Black Panthers are a movement, okay? Seriously. Bow movements are a movement. No, I'm just tripping it right now. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, there was nothing, there is nothing legitimate. There is nothing tangible about Bill Cosby's situation. And especially the Me Too movement. It's just not. And that's why I explain to you guys all the time. You guys are so hopped up off of what you're feeling and what you believe in and all. Tell there's what you feel and what you believe and what you want versus what's tangible, what's legal, what's legitimate. And in this case right here, it damn sure wasn't that Bill Cosby was guilty and it damn sure wasn't KRS-One's uh, Me Too movement, okay? So anyway, y'all, look here. This is your boy Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know down in the comment section. Hey, you guys find any um, inadequacies that I just put out there? Do you guys find anything that I just told y'all to be just incorrect? Because I guarantee you, I've read and researched this, okay? You may not like what I say, you know, but that's Negroes' problems. Negroes are always not liking something versus researching and understand facts from fiction and feelings, you know? Hey. I'm out.